This is Twit. The story here is that apparently uh, MEMS microphones, like the ones that are used on home assistants, um, are all apparently um, susceptible to being uh, to to something called what they're calling light commands, which is essentially shining a light or a cheap laser pointer or something like that into the the microphone, the MEMS mic. And researchers were able to do things like, you know, send commands to unlock doors, visit websites, uh, start vehicles, that sort of stuff. So I, I don't understand how you're able to do that with light, but... I would, I would they imagine. don't either. Uh, yeah. That's very exciting. So what happens is when you shine the light, it, by, it has, I mean, light, like sound, is a wave. Um, so if you modulate your frequency in certain ways, the, um, the microphone perceives it as sound. So basically, just imagine you've got waves at different amplitudes, light, mm -hmm. sound, whatever, and and that's how it does. But they don't actually know exactly how it works, which is what trips me up. Of like, yeah, go science. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what's fun about this is it works through glass, and it is viable. Although you would have to. Think about you would have to figure out the proper frequency modulations to figure out. So, you know, you would have to buy the 200 something dollar laser. You would also need to download from some dark website the appropriate code for unlock your door. You would have to hope that there's a door attached to it and it doesn't have a pin. So there's a limit of things you can do with this. And it feels like it's expensive enough to not be an awesome prank. But is it, is it but simulating voice or how is it making the actual command? It's, oh, it's simulating, it's simulating a voice command. But you can't hear it. But you can't hear it because Or is it transmitting sound, in fact, just using laser? It's using a laser. Um, to the transmit laser, sound? No, no, no. The laser, so sound is a wave. Like what we right, hear right. is a wave. But light is also a wave. So a laser has waves Ooh. as well. There. Life is a wave. And so is it resonating on the, the, the mic? Yes. So it is just, some, but they don't, they don't know how. They don't know how it works. But the idea is that you pick certain frequency modulations for the light. And it's to the device, which does not hear like we do. Right, it, right. It gives it the same reaction as a person saying a command. And, wow. and you've got to think that the MEMS microphone, the way these work is something, it, it detects a wave. So it's just, when I say something, it doesn't know I'm talking. It just knows that whatever wave's hitting it makes it vibrate in a certain way. So it's doing this when I talk, right? Well, and so it, it can says, also oh. listen and read. So, so when the Guardian was doing the Snowden story, mm -hmm. GCHQ, the NSA of the UK, had a fit with the Guardian and and went up and insisted that from across the canal outside the editor's offices, they could you bad guys could focus uh, lasers onto the room and listen to everything there. Oh, I think I saw that in a spy movie once. <laughs> sounds but sounds yes. appropriate. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Ooh. So yeah. That's and so the reason I think Kevin Fu and everybody should just stick a Google alert for him and whatever university he's at. OK, this is pro tip from Stacy, because all he does <laughs> is hack MEMS. That's all he does. And so if you think about IoT, it's just a bunch of MEMS, right? Because we're mm -hmm. taking the signals from the real world and converting them to digital. So in 2017, he did all this research about hacking accelerometers. Um, so he's just a really cool fella. So that's it. Oh. Okay, maybe you won't put a Google search, but you should because he does some great research. <laughs> You'll that keep is, us up to date here on This Week in Google.